Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at how we respond to or treat the case of uh, having multivariate outliers. So what we've done is in our previous analysis we, we identified outliers from the Mahalanobis distance uh, test and it gave us a cutoff of 10.4. Anything above that was extreme. So what we're going to do is we're going to proceed as though we're going to do an analysis by weeding those extreme measures out, those extreme cases out. The way we would do that is we go to data, we go to select cases, and then we're going to choose if condition is satisfied. Then we're going to click the if button. And what I've done is I have selected already the Mahalanobis uh, variable from the list, which is uh, right there, and I've brought it over here, and then I've said it has to be less than or equal then I typed in 10.4. All right. So if I, uh, let me just start over here. If I just take all that out, I'll show you. So you take Mahalanobis distance less than or equal to 10.4. We'll click continue and then we'll click OK. And what that will do is it will give you a little bit of output which basically says that the uh, the filtering was turned on. When we select cases, what we're doing is we're filtering out those cases we don't want, and in this case, we're filtering out the outliers. And if you go to the data view, you'll see that there's a little hash mark through those cases that don't satisfy the requirement. Now, this is a missing case, so that's out. This one, uh, you'll see, has a value of 10.79. Well, that's larger than 10.4, so it's out. That's an outlier. Certainly 21 is larger than 10.4, so that's out. If you go down the list, you'll continue to find that this, this holds up. The missing data also are removed automatically, but any number where the Mahalanobis distance is greater than 10.4, there's another one, will be taken out. You'll see this filter variable, which is coded 1 and 0, essentially tells SPSS which cases will go into the analysis and which will not. Those that have a zero do not, and those that have a one do. And that's how we can deal with multivariate outliers. Thank you.